welcome back to my channel to those of you that are here for the very first time welcome and to those of you that are here for the fifth fourth fifth sixth seventh hundred fifty eight i don't even have that many videos up but hey i see you welcome back so today i'm going to be chatting about ways in which you in fact one way it worked for me one way in which you can get your camera to pay itself off are you ready let's do this So initially when I bought my camera, I created an album on my personal Facebook page called Photography and I just informed everybody that I had bought myself a new camera and that I was going to start learning how to work with it. And this was obviously viewed by a lot of my friends and all the other people that I'm friends with on Facebook that I actually really don't know. So every time I'd shoot like random things with colleagues and friends, I would select the best images, edit them and post them into this album. And my goal at the time was to get to 450 likes. This was on my personal profile on Facebook. And eventually I got to that and I, was, I, I decided to graduate to creating an actual page. That was the goal. And I remember getting to a point where I realized that I wanted to shoot more. And my mentor at the time suggested that I do what I'm about to tell you. On my status on Facebook, I posted that I was offering a free one hour shoot that came with five free images. And people were interested. How I went about this is that the person would inbox me and we would discuss a time and a place where we would meet. The interesting thing about this as well was that it taught me to look for locations because usually people would be like, okay, which place do you suggest? So that was, that was one learning curve. So what I would do from there is set up this one hour shoot. I would look for locations that would be really cool. Look for locations and then meet up with the person for one hour, take the pictures and I wouldn't just edit the five images that I was going to give them. I would edit way more. I'd probably edit like 20, 30, 40, depending on the type of shoot I was doing. And by the time I was done with the edits, I would invite the client or meet up with the client and show them their images. I would give them their five free images that they could choose from the 50 or however many edited images I was showing them. And they would actually be interested in purchasing more images at 10 rand per image which was really cool because i had some clients that were willing to like buy the whole lot like all 50 all 30 notes not all people bought all the images but the majority would buy 30 40 50 images which was awesome because that money then went to paying off the camera so the nice thing about this is that you're learning more you're shooting more you're learning different locations you're learning how to work with people you're learning how to handle your money remember in this case it's all about getting the camera to pay itself off so all that money i was getting i was putting towards paying the camera off and it really really did help so that's how it works basically one hour one free hour five free images the nice thing about this is that you're learning new locations, you're meeting new people, you're getting better at shooting because you're shooting more often. Remember to edit more than those five images, edit your top however many you like, present all these images to the clients, let them select their five, and let them select extra if they want to at 10 rand per image. It sounds like a little, but it goes a long way. And in this way, you're also building a community of people that are supporting your work and what you do and they can also see how serious you are and it also just motivates you to show people how serious you are i'm hoping that this video will be useful to many if you know of anybody that's thinking of getting into photography or someone that's just started out please feel free to share this link with them i'm hoping that it does help and if it's helped you feel free to comment below and if you have any other suggestions that you would like to add to this feel free to do so. Um, that's all from me at the moment. I will check you out in the next video. Bye.